Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Coopersburg, Pennsylvania on this very cold day. The cold weather is unfortunately back. For a while there, we actually were having really nice weather. In fact, yesterday when I was climbing around on all of those rocks, I was actually getting kind of sweaty. After I was done filming, I had to take my jacket and my hoodie off because I was kind of hot climbing around on the rocks in the sun in the 60 something degree weather yesterday. It was beautiful out yesterday. And the fact, the last couple of days, it's been kind of beautiful out. But no, the cold weather and the wind is back. It's March. I guess it's to be expected. So if my, my hand is, is shaking and whatnot throughout this entire video, I do apologize. I'm already starting to shake. I'm already cold right now. Probably, once again, should have a heavier jacket on, but I thought my heavy jacket could be put away. It actually is in the car. I do. I, I'm, not, I'm not that dumb. I did bring my heavy jacket with me. I'm just not I'm smart enough to bring it with me. I'm not actually smart enough to wear it. So maybe I am kind of kind of dumb. But anyway, the reason why we're here in Coopersburg, Pennsylvania, is to take a look at something pretty awesome. Although before we take a look at that, I want to show you guys this over here. Look at this old gas pump. But what's really neat about this is, as you can see, it's got a Tesla logo on it. Look at that kind of like vintage looking Tesla logo. That is awesome. So this is, a, this is an old gas pump turned into a Tesla charging station. That is such a brilliant idea right there. I love that. Taking the, the old and turning it into something new. That is so awesome. What a brilliant idea. So there's a Tesling, te Tesling? Tesla charging station here and a Siemens charging station. I have no idea. I, I have no idea how electric cars work. I really know nothing about electric. Oh, there's the wind. There is the wind. It is cold. I really know nothing about electric cars, but I'm guessing maybe this charges all other electric cars other than Tesla? I have no idea. Leave comments down below how electric cars work. You guys can tell me. But again, this is really, really awesome. What a brilliant idea. Like I said, taking something old and turning it into something new, taking an old gas pump and turning it into a Tesla charging station. That is actually just really, really awesome. <laughs> it's so cold. I have not, my body, had, my body was actually getting used to the warm weather. And now that it's cold again, I'm just, I'm not dealing, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not accustomed to the cold weather anymore. My body was getting used to the warm weather. Weather. Now that it's cold, I'm like I, feel, I feel like, I feel like it's actually not even that cold out. If this was like a month ago, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out today. But now that I was dealing with like 60 something degree weather for the last couple of days, now that it's cold out, now that it's like 50 something degrees, I'm freezing right now. But anyway, so again, the reason why we're here in Coopersburg, Pennsylvania, is not to take a look at awesome vintage Tesla charging stations. It's because we are here at the Inside Scoop Ice Cream Parlor, and you guys have to see what is outside of this. Take a look at the Giant Muffler Man. This is Big Chip. Look at that. How amazing is this? Look how tall this thing is. Look at this thing. It's, it's gigantic. It's huge. I can, I can stand underneath Big Chip's legs. Look at, look at that. That's a shot right there. Thumbnail. That is awesome. That is so incredibly cool. I love muffler men. Although supposedly I'm not supposed to be calling these muffler men. I was told by, by one of you, by a viewer, that supposedly the first ever muffler man was not actually a muffler man. It was a Paul Bunyan statue, but over time the mold got reused and a lot of garages started putting mufflers in their hands and thus the term muffler man came to be. So apparently when you're talking about these, you should say Paul Bunyan, not muffler man. But of course, everybody just calls them muffler men. So that is too awesome. That is too cool. I love the fact that he has an ice cream scoop and the ice cream cone in his hand. They dressed him like a soda jerk. They gave him a hat. That is awesome. My hand is shaking so. I don't know if you guys can even tell in the video. I do have like stabilization on, but I don't know how well it's going to work. My hand is shaking so bad right now. I am so cold. Look at the inside scoop sign as well. I love old school vintage signing. So oh, old school vintage signage. Signage is the word I'm looking for there. Again, freezing right now. That is awesome with the neon and the arrow. That is so cool. I mean, it's not actually vintage. It's a, you know, it's, it's faux vintage, although I'm sure it's been there for a pretty long time actually at this point. That is so awesome. That is so cool. I will have to come out here and take photos of this place at night when this is all lit up. That is too, too amazing. They've got giant ice cream cones out front here. Look at the inside of this place. It's kind of sort of like vintage looking with the, the old chairs, the old, uh, the old booths right there, the old Coca-Cola napkin dispensers. That's awesome. 
I wish they were actually open right now. Look at this. What's it say here? I have no Hickory, no Hickory Valley Farm, 1950. So maybe this, I guess, I'm guessing this was actually the Hickory Valley Farm or something like that. I have no idea what the actual history of this building is. Now, now I'm curious. I did not know about that. Hickory Valley Farm, 1950. So this area definitely was very much farmland a long time ago. Now, of course, it's been all built up and whatnot. So I'm guessing this, uh, this ice cream stand, this ice cream joint, used to at one point be the Hickory Valley Farms. Interesting, very awesome. So cool they actually kept that just inscribed into the, um, into the front stoop there. But anyway, really wanted to get out here, take a look at Big Chip, the muffler man, because this is just too awesome. It is too cool. As a fan of Giants Muffler Men, I've been wanting to come out and see this for a while. I've actually driven past this a few times. This is uh, 309. I believe. I've driven up and down this road a couple of times, and every time I drive up and down this road, I've seen this and thought one day I'm gonna have to make a special trip out here just to take a look at this muffler man. Then I read up on him. Apparently, he uh, came in 2018. In 2018, they actually installed him. Used, I believe, an old mold they apparently found in a in a dump or something like that. From what I was reading, they apparently found an old an old an old mold for the muffler man, and then he used it to make big ship. That is too awesome. That is just too cool. I really wish they were actually open. I would love to go inside there right now and get some, some ice cream. I can actually see them inside there. They're setting things up again. I can, I can, sm I can smell the ice cream, or at least I can smell the, uh, probably the waffle cones. I'm sure they're in there making waffle cones right now. I can smell them. It smells amazing. It smells delicious. Even though it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and I have not eaten any breakfast yet today. I haven't eaten anything yet today. The thought of starting my day off with a big scoop of ice cream from Big Chip doesn't sound all that bad. What kind of ice cream would you get? I would get mint chocolate chip. I am a mint chocolate chip guy. That is my all time favorite, my go-to ice cream. Sometimes chocolate, sometimes I'm in the mood for just straight up chocolate, but I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm getting mint chocolate chip. And then occasionally, if I'm in the mood, I'm getting chocolate ice cream. So right now I would definitely get some some mint chocolate chip, but only if I can eat it inside because right now, again, I am freezing right now. And it is so cold. It's in the low 50s right now, which like I said, a couple of weeks ago, I'd have been like low 50s. It's beautiful out. But now I've, I've become accustomed to the, the 60 degree weather and I am freezing right now. So again, guys, we're here at the Inside Scoop, Coopersburg, Pennsylvania, taking a look at Big Chip, their giant muffler man, holding an ice cream scoop and a, and a cone, cone of ice cream. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to talk and not go blah, 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 at the same exact time. It is quite difficult. So holding, again, an ice cream scoop, giant ice cream cone, dressed like a soda jerk, and of course their awesome, amazing, vintage looking sign here with the neon and the arrow that is awesome. And I'm loving these giant ice cream cones. These are really, really cool. And I'm gonna have to look up some more information now about the Hickory Valley Farm. I'm very curious about that. Again, Hickory Valley Farm, 1950. My assumption would be this is part of the Hickory Valley Farm. This is probably a farm store back in the day where you could get probably dairy products and things like that. That's my assumption. I do not know, and we'll have to look into that. But all right, guys, that is it. Unfortunately, they are closed, not opening for like another hour. So I'm not going to be getting any ice cream as much as I would like some ice cream, even though I'm freezing and I'm, I'm, I'm I can barely keep my hand straight and I can I can barely keep myself from from my from my lips shaking right now and trembling. I could definitely go for some ice cream. But all right, I want to come out here, show you guys Big Chip, the giant muffler man. Very awesome, very cool. Here in Coopersburg, Pennsylvania. Get out here, try some ice cream. I hear it's delicious. I've actually heard this ice cream is really, really good. And get your picture taken with Big Chip, the muffler man, AKA the Paul Bunyan. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get back in the car, warm up a little bit, come out, take some more photos. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, definitely do that, follow Retro Rest Stop on Instagram. Every time I go out somewhere, I always take photos. I post tons of photos on Instagram. So if you guys do not follow me on there, definitely do that. All right, I'm gonna go get warmed up. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab your, grab your where you guys can grab Retro Rest Stop, so cold. Where you guys can grab Retro Rest Stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. You can help supporting the show, keeping the show going, keeping gas in my car so I can turn it on and let the hot air crank 
blowing me because I'm freezing right now. So again, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. I'm loving this though. The, te the, the Tesla charging station built into an old vintage gas pump. That is so cool. And again, big chip. They're muffler, man. That is awesome. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.